So the Galaxy S24 Ultra will ship with One UI 6.1. I know One UI 6 barely became available, but we already have an official leak revealing 10 new features the One UI 6.1 will bring to the Galaxy S24 lineup. And by the looks of it, the One UI 6.1 is a far bigger update than the One UI 6 was. So without much ado, let's get right into it. Now, since this is an official leak, there is a risk of a copyright strike. So as usual, I'm going to upload the screenshots on my second channel. The link is in the description. But if you don't want to go, here is the lowdown on the new features. First, One UI 6.1 has an option called Voice Focus for clearer calls. As the name suggests, it actively isolates your voice, effectively eliminating background noise during calls to ensure a crystal clear sound. This feature comes in handy if the people on the other end are struggling to hear you and it applies to both voice and video calls. It's similar to what's available on the latest iOS. Next, Samsung has added new battery protection settings in One UI 6.1. Notably, there are now three new battery protection options designed to extend the lifespan of the battery. The first one is basic protection, which stops the charging process at 100% and resumes charging when the battery level drops to 95%. Second is adaptive mode, which pauses charging at 85% and resumes just before waking up, aligning with Android's adaptive charging principles. And third is aggressive battery mode, which outright stops charging at 80% to avoid reaching maximum charge, minimizing stress on the battery, thereby extending its life. Moving on, the Samsung Notes app is getting an upgrade as well. Notably, it will get the auto format feature. This nifty tool transforms bulky paragraphs into neat bullet points, enhancing readability. It works not just for typed, but also for handwritten notes. Next, we have the live translate call. We've talked about this in the past. Basically, the person you call can hear what you say in their language and you can hear their response in your language in real time. There will be an option called Live Translate just below the text call. Again, you can see the actual images in the description below. The photo editor has gotten some new features as well. First, you can realign and expand pictures to give more context surrounding the subject. Next, you can move a subject from one image to the other. Just touch and hold the subject to clip it out and then swipe to another image while still holding it and release it once you find the image you want. You can also continue editing stickers, drawings and more even after the initial edits are finished. So no more starting from scratch if you make a small mistake. Next, the S24 can generate wallpapers for the phone from scratch using AI. Just ask the phone to make a wallpaper of anything you want and the phone will make it for you. The S24 also brings more customization to the lock screen where now you can add weather and portrait effects to the lock screen wallpaper. Weather effects include sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowy, and evening. And you can even animate it, which is pretty cool. Next, you can hide your background in video calls or you can even replace it with an image, something we already have in third-party video calling apps. And finally, Samsung has also improved the animations with One UI 6.1. By the way, these aren't the only features on the S24. There will be plenty more, which we will discover in the days to come. In the meantime, if you want to see the actual screenshots of these features, click here and I'll see you there.